A freak accident at a Wisconsin campground this morning. A tree fell on a tent, killing a 10-year-old Illinois girl and injuring her father and her brother. The three were camping at Devil's Lake State Park in Baraboo. That's about 40 miles northwest of Madison. Park officials says a thunderstorm had passed through the area earlier. He says that may have weakened the tree, which otherwise appeared fully green and healthy. Officials say it's a tragic incident, something the park has not seen before. school fight that some say was months in the making. A 13-year-old student treated for a concussion and other injuries after several other students attacked him and posted the video online. This is the end result of months of bullying, says the teen boy getting pummeled by fellow junior high students. People would call me names, the devil worshiper, because I would never talk to anybody because I was shy. On Monday, Avila says he was walking home from school when he was surrounded. Recently, more local churches have become targets of violent crime, but parishioners are fighting back by boosting security. Have you seen an increase in this area? Why are you holding this workshop? Well, not specifically in this area, but across the United States, we've seen uh, incidents across the United States uh, occur on church properties and worship centers. Justice P.J. Avito was being laid to rest. The man accused of killing him was back in court. CBS 2's Catherine Brown with that part of the story. The accused killer of two young children showed no emotion. Daniel St. Hubert appeared stone-faced before a judge in a Brooklyn courtroom, handcuffed and flanked by heavily armed officers. New details are emerging about a gruesome murder we've been covering in Coffee County. Tonight, we know the name of the woman that investigators say was killed and then dismembered. This home, just outside of Manchester, is where investigators say Lisa Marie Hyder was killed. Scott Hale remains behind bars, and friends say his Satanism may have played a role in the alleged murder. Court documents show he cut off the head, hands, and feet of Lisa Marie Hyder, and then ate part of her body. Charles Hyder lives in Dunlap, Tennessee. On Monday, investigators told him she was dead. If I told me what happened, oh my God, I just, I clapped. I, could, I just couldn't believe it. Colin Kaepernick won't be charged by prosecutors in an April 1st incident at a Miami hotel. Police investigated two 911 calls from a woman who claimed she was partying with a 49er quarterback and two other NFL players. The person who, the alleged victim in this case, who claimed that, uh, um, that these things happened to her. Police releasing new information about how Ronnie Catalaria allegedly committed those murders and what was behind the violent attack. He believed his friend was the devil. His friend, 23-year-old Anthony Sakura. The superstitious Friday was a double whammy. The full moon peaked on Friday the 13th, which might cause some people to consider staying home. A new asteroid with the nickname The Beast will be flying by Earth this weekend and it's cutting it pretty close. Former G4S security guard Frank Jackson was on duty the evening of the tragedy in Tumon. 
He said the night shift turned into a nightmare. GPD officer Detective Anthony Borja says once taken into custody, DeSoto cooperated with police but offered a disturbing interview where DeSoto claimed the devil told him to do it. He told me that he, that he read somewhere that if a person were to commit a violent act such as the one that he just completed, that person will be given a day off from hell's eternal damnation. During the uh, latter part of the interview, he uh, said that he was accepted into the dark side. A 22-year-old Satanist in Athens has been arrested for, quote, sacrificing a woman to Satan on Easter Sunday. He, quote, sacrificed her to Satan uh, and then wrote 666 on a park bench nearby in her blood. A moose crashed into a bus, causing the vehicle to stop right at mile 666. A Belarusian tour bus managed to redefine the term Mark of the Beast when a moose stumbled into its path on the way to Kiev, smashed through the windshield, and indeed left quite a mark. Later, as police were examining the wreckage, they noticed that the bus had screeched to a halt right at mile 666, giving the proceedings an air of satanic intrigue often missing from your average highway catastrophe.